Hello, welcome to a new series of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Hopefully this one is long and bountiful. So, I'm making a new character, because all of my old ones are dead. <laughs> and I'm going to try out some archery on this guy, I think. So I'm giving myself some dexterity and perception to start off with. And we'll come back to traits. Um, what's that? One point a year. It's worth it for the lab coat, I think. Skills. Um, the first thing I want to do is give myself one point in survival and one point in archery. Because that means that I can make arrows right away. I actually sort of barely without leaving the uh, evac shell, you can actually make a bow out of all the materials you have there. So, what shall we pick? Uh, you know, I have skill rust turned off and you can still pick forgetful um, which buys you three points. I mean, it's it's basically cheating to buy points, but who cares? Who cares? It's a single player game. I have my own fun, right? Don't care about um, NPC stuff. Jittery, mm -mm -mm. trigger happy, probably not going to be using automatic weapons, so that's fine. Uh, See, so yeah, I think um, far sighted would be okay. I mean, the problem with needing glasses is they tend to get broken. But I guess if you only put them on to do stuff, then yeah. Uh, let's just go ahead and take all these useful things. Tough, thick skinned. Yeah, I haven't really um, used archery much, but some people say it's very overpowered. I mean, I did try it uh, for a while, but um, I just I couldn't be bothered picking up all the arrows, to be honest. So I'm going to pick night vision, which is pretty useless in and of itself. But if you take robust genetics and go roll around in some toxic uh, waste, you may get full night vision, maybe, and that is useful, it's very useful. Blah, 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 blah. Animal empathy, I like that one, it makes hunting a little bit easier. Alright, let's give myself a point in dodge, what else? First aid, tailoring, that's pretty useful. Wow, I just, yeah, I have a lot of skills here, this is cool. So I need three points to turn those up. Um, melee as well, I probably have a backup melee weapon, so I'm going to let the random name generate and do its thing. Austin Smith, Sean Adams, Luke Allen. Yeah, it's, um, it's kind of English and Spanish names, really. There's not a great deal of choice in here. Oh, whatever. <laughs> What's in the name, eh? Ryan Murphy. There you go. It's a lovely Irish name. And are you sure you finished? Nope. Let me save it, actually. Name of template. Archer stuff. There we go. Now I'm finished. I probably won't use that template ever again, but there you go. Let's have a little chat to this NPC. Uh, give me things. 
Okay. I'm your friend. Oh, she gave me some vitamins. That's lovely. Size up stats. You are useless. What are you wearing? Oh, you're a lab technician as well, are you? Um, thank you. Do you want to travel with me? We're friends, aren't we? You just gave me some vitamins. Oh. Denied. Right, I'm gonna go grab that rock. Because who needs a hammer when you've got a rock? So if we look at the crafting menu. Yep. See, I can make a bow. And. You know, you think. Well, you need a stick and some string and stuff like that, but, uh, yeah, that's all here in the evac shelter. Smash this bench, and smash another bench. Go ahead and smash the window, and we've got a sheet. Well, that string is what we want. Yeah, I'll we'll clear that window out so I can just hop out of there and grab that stick. Um, is that more string there? Nope. Sheets. Yeah, I'll probably grab them in a minute and cut them up. So, what am I missing now? Two string, three feet. So, did I get a... yeah. So I just need to smash another window. Whoops. There's nothing there. <laughs> okay. Can't smash the open window, that's useful. To know. Um, well, there we go. There's a bow. I haven't even left the uh, evac shelter. Um, no. Hold on. So we'll go down to the basement and a sewing kit. That's extremely useful. So am I wearing all my stuff? Yeah. Hmm. Heat pack. Sweater. And his night vision is, oh, a backpack. In the basement, that's beautiful. A hammer, uh, yep, I'll take the hammer for now. And <laughs> another backpack, okay. Some chocolate. Oh, the game's just being too nice to me. I'm sure I'm gonna be right next to a, a terrific groove or something right now. What's that? A prison, yeah. Don't go to prisons. <laughs> that's, uh, that's my tip of the day. Don't go to prisons. It ain't worth it. There's nothing in there you want. Trust me. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, if you want to find out for yourself, you can go right ahead, but I'm telling you, you don't want to go there. So, torso encumbrance affects melee and dodge, which is hopefully not going to be a problem. I have armor encumbrance. Is that from the backpacks? Uh, 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 Q covers the torso, so I don't think so. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and drop the fucking rubber gloves, right? Because yeah, that's gonna sort out my hands. Yep. Uh, dress shirt. So yeah, that fits. Um, yeah, it's got a little pocket, but it's not particularly warm. It's not particularly useful. Take it off. Slice it into pieces. So yeah, we can wear backpacks. We're not gonna do any. We're not gonna be doing any melee combat. Hopefully, I probably will end up having to melee my way out of places. But, um, yeah. 
See, we have minus one dodge skill and minus one melee skill because of the backpacks. But I will make a melee weapon here. I'll make myself a nail board. Uh, yep, use the two by fours, smash all these lockers, and make a cross crowbar, crossbar. The hell's that? And we can also make an improvised pick lock. You see how much stuff you can make without even leaving the uh, evac shelter? Yeah. Like, people complain that it's too hard to um, find weapons and stuff in this game. And, uh, not really. Mm, okay, we'll make a digging stick as well. And let's get smashing these benches so we can make more arrows. Or some arrows, I haven't made any yet. Wood arrow shaft. Go ahead and craft as many of those as I can. Well, there's quite a few. Really? Oh, okay, that must be splintered wood all around me. Yeah, if you disassemble the furniture rather than smash it, you get more stuff, obviously. So, um, yeah, now you can just... make better arrows using rocks or nails. We've got a bunch of nails around us. And scrap metal. And, um, yep, we'll use that rock as well, because... Smash some more benches. Yep, because I picked up a hammer in the basement, didn't I? Come on. What is this, the indestructible bench? What the fuck? Come on. Smash the bloody thing. Okay. Wow. Jesus. Well, there's nails there, isn't there? Did I run out of uh, arrow shafts? Yeah, I must have done. Do do do. Yeah, so I should have a silly, silly amount of arrows right now. Are there no nails here? I'm sure, there's nails. Five there. Oh well, smash the lockers. Oh, come on! I was destroying them in like one shot before. Smashy, smashy. <laughs> well, that's just the kind of game this is. You smash things and turn them into other things. Okay, so how many arrows do I have? I have 150 field point arrows. And, yep, some of them have um, nails sticking out the end. Some of them have little shards of scrap metal sticking out the end. But there you go. And yeah, let's grab some of these sheets, cut them up into rags, because that's just... Where is it? There you are. 20 rags. Very nice. Because if I can improve my clothes and such before I go out into the world, then that makes things a bit easier. I could probably also craft some nicer clothes, I don't know. Um, what have we got? Can I make a trench coat? I really like the trench coats. They fit well, they don't encumber you too much, and they got big pockets, and... And they're quite warm, and they cover you from the rain, and they, yeah, they're just really nice. I recommend them. Um... So I can make cargo shorts, which uh, do have some storage there, compared to what I'm wearing, probably. 
Yeah, I can just sew up a pair of jeans, you know. <laughs> it's pretty bizarre. No, so let's just um, use the, uh, the sewing kit. Mm, so I'm probably going to destroy things, I don't know. No, you see, I gave myself a, uh, a point in tailoring, so it's fine, actually. Well, yeah, reinforced clothes straight off the back. Practice your sewing. And still with crap loads of rags. So we don't find any bandages straight away then. It's not the end of the world. Okay. Um See, I could probably just nip up to that gas station and get myself some food and drink, to be honest. This evac shelter is quite close to a town. I don't know if I'm going to set up shop in there. I might set up by the gas station up here, or in it, even. It's very close to a prison, but um, might as well practice archery there. Yeah, it doesn't have the best range. I don't really understand that. I mean, it's a bow, right? Barely miss. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, you need... Um, ah, I didn't obliterate it. But yeah, there are... Few, uh, blah, 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 blah. Small game arrows in the game now, so that you can shoot squirrels and rabbits and not have them destroyed by the uh, impact of the arrow, because that usually happens. Ah, what do we have here? Hmm, you know, I did not give myself... I did actually, I gave myself perception. So I'm not going to run into any landmines. Uh, it's being too nice to me, this is really eerie. I mean these talking dolls are useless but I can take the batteries out of them. Steel chain, that's not very useful. Unload, unload, unload. You can't even disassemble these things. So I'll drop them. Not going to play around with those traps, and uh, none of those cars work, so that's useful. Yeah, you play this game long enough and you just know, you just look at stuff and you're like, yeah, that's that. Yes, clean water, excellent. Oh, some cider as well. We get drunk. Some cigarettes back here. Probably won't. Um... Oh, a flashlight. Excellent. Yeah, I probably won't smoke the cigarettes except in emergencies. I always check this office, and there's never anything in there. Not a desk. Not a chair. <laughs> yeah, some of the buildings need a bit of an overhaul in this game. Like, the houses, for one, I mean, they're okay, I mean, they look like houses, but some of the rooms are just bizarre, like, super long bedrooms that are, like, 20 meters long, with nothing in them, <laughs> but a bed in the corner. Right, so, I took robust genetics, so, let's, uh, no. <laughs> so, it's so tempting to be... You know, to just go all Toxic Avenger and just go roll around in the goop, but, uh, yeah, I need some food and medical supplies and stuff first, because while I might get uh, beneficial mutations, I might um, also pick up manager, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, I, I will vomit and 
be in pain and stuff like that, so... Character, how do I move across? There we go. Add. Oh, I haven't used this before, by the way, so... Um, da -da 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 -da. Enter, edit. Pick up rule. Star. Arrow. Right. That's a little bit confusing, but I think if I do that. Well, if I. If I do that, I think it will just automatically pick up all arrows. Uh, as far as I can tell, I mean, they all end in the word arrow, right? So, I mean, if I just fire an arrow somewhere and just walk over it. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> Seriously. How the hell does this work? Character. Maybe I need to put it on global then. Um, save changes. Oh, it's, uh, well, whatever. <laughs> I'll just... Um, So this is what I'm talking about. You shoot a bloody squirrel about a million times before you actually hit it. I mean, come on. <laughs> People saying that this is a great combat skill, you know. Finally. But now I... Uh, ah. Finally managed to butcher it. See, I want. I can't remember how to turn it on. That's the problem. I think it needs to be on. Uh, e enable. Okay. Disable. Enable. Save changes. Yes. Pick the fucking thing up! So, yeah, I mean... Now I have to walk about 20,000 miles to pick up all my arrows. Pick it up! Ah, uh, so... I might just go look at the wiki for a minute, actually. I'll just cut the recording here, see how long it is, and come back and check out this wreckage after I've checked out how the hell auto pickup works. Okay, the forums are helpful. They really are. Uh, yep, need to turn on auto pickup in the options menu, the main options menu. Enable auto pickup. Uh, I'll leave that off. Auto pick up save mode, and yeah, we'll have that enabled, I think. Because, yeah, you don't want to use valuable turns while there are enemies nearby. Save changes, yes. Okay, let's check out this wreckage. What's in here? There are. Uh, oh, 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 boy. Alloy plating for my legs. Oh, I'm gonna screw it up though. What the? Jesus. Okay. Uh, did I? I did actually craft a digging stick, didn't I? <laughs> well, I was pretty sure that I did, but why the hell do I still have these talking dolls? It's like the haunting me. <laughs> Still there. 
Yeah, I probably hurt myself crawling around this stuff, but yeah. I'll just we'll see what the failure rate is. I mean, if it's too bad, then ooh, forty-five, forty-seven percent. That's not good. <laughs> no, we're gonna have to get some skills before we start using those. Finger hack. Let's just go ahead and drop them. I mean, I'll still be there, you know. What is the finger hack? I don't think I've seen these before. Electro hack embedded into my finger. Alright. Control panels and the like, but not computers. Uh, A failed use may damage your circuits. Okay, so if you fail to actually use the hack, it will damage you. <laughs> well, that's not good. Is it powered, though? I mean, I don't want to install it if I don't have any power systems. So I might as well just wait. Yeah, we'll just wait on these. Drop them here. Whoops. A jumpsuit. Um... Yeah, they're pretty useless. I mean, it's better than nothing, but I mean, I've got a lab coat, so... Hard plating. <laughs> 72% chance of failure. Nope. Let's go ahead and drop that. Uh, I have to climb over this. It's another finger hack. Yeah, spring. Okay. Yeah, there's some good stuff there. Go ahead and mark that. CBMs. See those match blah, those uh map markers actually work. Right, I guess I said the uh, test some test the auto pickup now, right? Quit squirming around, squirrel. Why isn't it targeting? Ugh. Why is the range so pathetic? I mean, is this a bow or a sling or what? Okay, it's picking up the arrows. That makes it a lot less tedious. Yeah, the firing system is a little bit annoying. I'm tempted to... Um <laughs> Are you serious? But yeah, I'm tempted to dr just drop the wooden arrow shafts. <laughs> so I don't have to pick the ammo type every time. How are you not hitting it, finally? Right, so... Uh, that is something I do want to craft, because it will enable me to actually cook stuff. Which I can't really do. I'm still on 0 0.7, the stable build, quote-unquote. And... Yeah, smoke is a thing. <laughs> smoke is just deadly. I mean, if you try and roast a single piece of meat and ignore the smoke, you'll just die. <laughs> you'll just die from the smoke inhalation. So I need to craft a filter mask, really, but I suppose a bandana would help in a pinch. Environmental protection one. Wow. I mean, it does cover the mouth, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's not really going to protect you against anything. Maybe a few germs, but we can use these rocks out here. 
So make some more of these rather than throw away the wooden arrow shafts. You can just craft more of the field point ones which will level our archery skill like crazy. It really will. Delicious strawberries. Mmm. And yep, you will notice that I have not even gone into town yet. I have food, I have a weapon, I have ammunition, I have backpacks, some stuff, clothes. Ooh, what have I spotted? A dog. Safe mode off. What's up, dog? Wow. So, dog. Yeah, so I'm just doing a bit of exploring now. Uh, yeah, I think it, I will eventually have to go into town to find stuff like wristwatches. I don't know if you can craft wristwatches. You can craft a lot of stuff, but um, yeah. So in a previous video, I actually lamented dogs because um, I considered them extremely useless. Because look at it just following me around. It doesn't do anything. But actually, I've been reliably informed that you can actually craft dog food and feed them. And then they become your buddies. And they fight for you. So, yeah. You can get sort of one man and his... One... Uh, what's that film called? A boy and his dog, that's it. You can get that kind of situation going on. Which is very cool. But, um. Until you can, they're just a nuisance. It just follows you around. I mean, come on. Like, uh, what's so interesting about me? About this squirrel? You know, clumsy butchering destroys the meat. My hands are unencumbered, aren't they? Yeah. So yeah, normally I just wouldn't wear a billion backpacks. It's very tempting when you start up a game. And you see all this delicious loot everywhere and you're just like, Oh yes, put on all the backpacks. Because I think you can wear like two backpacks and a military rucksack and you know, a bunch of clothes, but uh, really it screws you over, like big time, you don't want to do that. Ah, there's a military bunker. Now we just need an ID card to get in. Let's try and kill this deer. Pew! Oh my god. Really though? Is archery really that good? <laughs> It must just be that my skill is just awful or something. Oh, I hit it for a tiny amount of damage. Whoops, don't hit the dog. Is it... <sighs> it's not picking them up because the dog's here. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, like I said, they're a bloody nuisance, but I guess if I could actually craft some dog food, it might be useful. Well, that deer is still hanging around. I guess I just kind of forgot about the whole chewing it thing. How can you be missing? It's like 12 feet away. Ugh, fucking dog. Die, you fucker. Is it even fleeing, or is it just... Yeah, it's fleeing. Yeah, some discussions on the forums about um, making deers more aggressive. And moose as well. 
Because, yeah, I mean, a book, it wouldn't just stand there and let you kill it. I mean, what's my archery now for? I'm not fucking hitting the goddamn thing. This is useless. <laughs> it's right next to me! How? How could you be missing? Just melee the bloody thing. I mean, look at that. I just hit it with my bow and did more damage than I have for the past hour just flinging arrows at it. Like, I must be missing a trick here or something because I'm just not hitting it. It's not happening. I mean, maybe deers are just too agile, too fast, or something. But when it's right next to me? Really? Hmm. And this fucking dog, I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill the dog. Man's best friend, my ass. He's preventing the auto pickup from working. Come here, mutt. There we go. Oh, oh V, B. Usable bones. Can I make bone arrows? I don't know. Let's find out. I can indeed, the small game arrows. Yeah, maybe that's what I actually need to... Maybe they're faster, I don't know. Something. Or something, yeah. So I can use the bones, so I'll pick them up for now, because I don't have any shafts. Uh, well, I have some meat anyway. I probably won't be able to cook it before it goes rotten, but... That's that. Oh, there's some zombies. Bit too close to town there. Way too close to town. Let's just scoot on away from there. I'm just kind of walking around the perimeter to <clears throat> scope it out, see what buildings there are, see how big it is. There's a cave. Don't want to be going down there. Oh yeah, they're coming after me. We're a lot faster than them though. Well, I thought I was. <laughs> Yeah. Oh shit. Are we walking right into a town? Yep. Kinda pokes down to the south there. What's that there? Oh, that's just the cave. A pack of wolves to the south. Oh, we're getting some activity. So those strawberries there? Is it a fresh kill or something? Uh, strawberries. Uses. Oh, hello, zombie dog. Guess I'm gonna have to hit you with some bows. Bugger. It's biting me. These arrows are doing no damage. Ah, thanks for that. There we go. That's dead. Eh, we can leave those arrows behind. You don't even need to pick them up, really. I mean, you can craft literally hundreds of them just from stuff that's lying around everywhere. So, it's not a big deal. Yeah, they're persistent. There we go, we've lost them. What's that? A pawn shop. Hmm. It's tempting. There's never much of any use in a pawn shop. Well, sometimes there is. Oh, there's no zombies here. So I might as well. Let's try out this picklock. Uh, you know... There we go. Oh, really? An alarm? 
you son of a... So what have we got? A morning star? Are you serious? Yeah, there's usually just ridiculous weapons in a pawn shop. Like the aluminium bat? I mean, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna get that. Drop the uh, nail bat that I've got. Military rucksack over there as well. An army helmet and a wristwatch. Oh, hell yes. Yeah, since they changed the the time shit. There we go, I actually see what time it is. The wristwatch is magically still working. Drink some cider. Um, baseball bat. You know, the baseball bat seems to do more damage than the aluminium bat. What is that? Two hit bonus three moves for attack 117. Okay, so the aluminium bat is quicker. That makes sense. A cot. Uh, Can I grab that? Yeah. That might come in useful. So I think we'll just grab some shit from here and uh, head on back to the evac shelter for the night. Aluminium bats. Nope. I will drop the nail board. Well, let's just make sure that that's a wise decision first. So yeah, it just does not as much damage, so let's grab that. Wow, okay, that takes up a lot of space. Um, blah, 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 blah. Well, I am carrying 37 rags, that might be... <laughs> might be something I could drop. I kinda don't want to though, I mean, <laughs> the rags are more useful than the bloody... Alright, let's just drop about 20 of those. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Gas mask, actually, that is very useful. I don't want to wear it all the time, but it does allow me to roast meat without dying, <laughs> which is always good. Oh shit, that's an eye bot. Yeah, they're not a threat in and of themselves. Oh, fucking school. Steer clear of that shit. Yeah, but they uh, they call the police. Is it following me? Is it? I think it is. And yeah, you think, you know, oh, the apocalypse, there's no police. What are you talking about? Oh, but there is. <laughs> there is the robot police, yes. Oh. It is being too nice to me today. Got food and stuff and things and a cat. Hello. Yep, you are talking to yourself when you talk to a cat. Oh, that's a office tower. That was uh, kind of silly of me to walk right up to. We'll just go ahead and. But yeah, you see, mooses. They're just completely passive. You can walk right up to that thing. Well, that's not very realistic. They would, uh, they would hoof the shit out of you if you went near them. Oh, that's there's a smoker in there. Stay clear of that. Yeah, I should probably turn safe mode on when I just hold down the movement keys like this. But whatever, <laughs> whatever. Uh, yeah, it's not exactly safe with the windows all bashed out, but 
it's better than nothing. So you can place a cop here, and uh, yeah, that kind of works like a trap. But that's somewhere to sleep. Hmm, didn't get anything to read, uh, so that's my only disappointment for this day, I think. Um, so, yeah, I think I'll call out the end of this episode. Nice long first day episode, very successful. So I'll say thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.